Good day. In this video, we're going to cover this grade 12 geometry rider from the prelim of Gauteng, paper 2, 2018. They gave us this sketch. They said, in triangle DXZ, this big triangle, AC is parallel to XZ. So those two red lines are parallel. Then they said, BP is parallel to DZ, the two blue lines. Then they said DY is drawn to intersect AC at B. Not very important. We can see it there. Then they asked, prove that BC over YZ is equal to DA over DX. So we must prove that the ratio of the blue line on top of this blue line is equal to that red line on top of that red line. If they give me any parallel lines in a geometry question, I always put in extra arrows for my brain's sake. One way to answer the question would be to say, in triangle DXY, the red one there, AB is parallel to XY, they gave it to us. Those two lines are parallel. We can write DA over DX is equal to DB over DY. You, then you can give one of three reasons. The one I like, I say I've got a triangle and I name it, and I name the two parallel sides in the triangle. Or you can just write line parallel to one side of a triangle, or proportionality theorem. I think the second one is the easiest one, because it says exactly what it is. I have a triangle and one pair of parallel sides. Then we may write, in triangle DYZ, BP is parallel to DZ, also given. Those two lines are parallel in the blue triangle. Then we can write ZP over ZY is equal to DB over DY, and then the reason that you choose to use. We wrote, we have a triangle DYZ, and we got two lines parallel, or the method you like. Then we can write, DA over DX is equal to ZP over ZY. You don't have to give a reason. I just wrote here. This, this is the logic that we have to know in geometry. Or they both equal to DB over DY. Stop the video and try and get your brain around this. Next we can write BCZP is a parallelogram. It was given. The red quadrilateral there is a parallelogram. Then you can write ZP is equal to BC because they're the opposite sides of a parallelogram. Those two sides are equal. Then we can rewrite this ratio as DA over DX is equal to BC over ZY. Then you can stop. I advise my students to always write what they asked us, exactly like they asked it at the end. Please stop the video and get your brain around this problem. Please look at the video that says logic and geometry. There we showed you that if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A will be equal to C because they're both equal to B. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into geometry problems that you have trouble solving, you may send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve it for you and send back an answer as soon as possible. Enjoy geometry.